name and skin at the gate called beautiful and then Peter remembered and John remembered if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth and he looked at the man and the man saw they were going to give him money remember remember even if you were born with the problem even if the problem had been with you from birth if you can believe with this all-inclusive faith all the mountains of your life will be rolled away in Jesus name and then Peter said, look on us, oh, silver and gold, I have none. But what I have, I give unto you in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of who? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And that man got that power immediately, the great power through and all inclusive faith came upon him. It will come upon you. Even if you are born with that deformity this morning, that deformity will vanish away. Even if you brought that problem into the world with you, that problem you brought into the world with you will vanish away in Jesus' name. Even if you were born blind, that sin will vanish away this morning in Jesus' name. Any condition in your life, any condition in your body that is already in your genes and they say is part of you. There's nothing you can do about this. This all inclusive faith will roll everything away today in Jesus' name. A great, great, great power of an all inclusive faith. And so you said, Save and go to abide none. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk and what did he do he rose up and he began to walk leaping and jumping and walking and then he went with them into the temple that's what the all-inclusive faith will do it will do it in your life i said it will do it in your life and then you will know that the inclusive faith does not know any impossibility or any difficulty that's why jesus christ said unto him and that's why jesus christ is saying unto you if thou canst believe all things are possible unto him that believeth matthew chapter 17 matthew chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 20 matthew chapter 17 we're looking at verse 20 and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I say of you certainly I say unto you assuredly I say unto you without any shadow of doubt I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say ye shall say ye shall say you see eh, eh, what you say matters a lot what caleb said mattered that thing that caleb said kept him alive for 45 years what you say that thing that joshua said kept him alive for more than 45 years and he went to the land of canaan and then what the other people said the giants are there were not able we're weak we may die in the wilderness to say matters a lot today i say i am well today i say i am made whole today i say i am strong today i say my mountains are gone my problems are solved my challenges are resolved today i say my sickness is healed today i say my affliction is gone today i say i am delivered if he shall say if he shall say if he shall say unto this mountain unto this mountain look at your life and look at the possibilities and the potential and the power of this all-inclusive faith. And then you come with this incorruptible faith. You come with this all-inclusive faith. And then you look at your mountain directly. And then you say unto that mountain, 
this mountain, you will not remain in this life of mine after the prayer this morning. And it will be so. I said it will be so. And it is so already in Jesus' name. If you have a faith as a grain of buttered seed, he shall say unto this mountain, remove hands to yonder place, and it shall remove. And it shall remove. And it shall remove. And it says, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. With this all inclusive faith, all the problems are solved. All the sicknesses are healed. All the impossibilities are made possible. All the challenges, they are gone in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 22. Mark 11, Mark 11, Mark 11. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. And Jesus answering says unto them. And Jesus answering says unto them. And he says, he changes not. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he said at that time, he saying today. What he said at that time is repeating the same thing to you and to me and to us today. And he said unto them, he said unto us, in verse 22, have faith in God. What problems do you have? Have faith in God. What mountains do you see? Have faith in God. What challenges do you have in life? Have faith in God. What difficulties confront you in life? Have faith in God. What are the things that bring headache and heartache unto you? Have faith in God. The secret of victory and the secret of success is to have faith all inclusive faith in God. And when that faith is in you, and it's in you already, I said it's in you already. That's what the Lord is telling you right here today. All those problems, all those challenges, all those difficulties. Because of this, all inclusive faith, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray, thank God, for verily, certainly, assuredly, without a shadow of doubt, I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Whosoever, whosoever, who is that whosoever? Where are they? Whosoever, where is, where is that whosoever? I'm looking for him. I'm looking for whosoever, 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 whosoever. I am that whosoever. I am that whosoever. I said I'm that whosoever. I rejoice with you because your name is there already. I said your name is there already. Your name is there already. I want to begin to pray today. Whosoever, I'm looking at you now. I'm seeing you now. I need to see you as you are thinking, as you are meditating, as you are deciding. I am the whosoever. And when the time comes, I take my place as that whosoever. And all my problems are gone in Jesus' name. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. What will you say to your mountain? What will you say to your sickness? What will you say to your weakness? What will you say to your infirmity? What will you say to your poverty? What will you say to the bad Lord? What will you say to the impossibilities of your life? What will you say to all the fire that is burning in your family? What will you say to the mountain today? And whosoever, and whosoever, and whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. I shall not doubt in his heart. I shall not doubt in his heart. Every doubt in every heart, I rebuke that doubt. Get away in Jesus' name. There is no doubt in your heart this morning. I tell the devil that brought any doubt there. I say, pack your load and go in Jesus' name. Your heart is free of doubting. 
your life is free of doubting your prayer is free from doubting and when you stand you stand in confidence and faith and trust in the lord there will be no doubt in your heart in jesus name i shall not doubt i shall not doubt i shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says those things would say today Six which you say today. I said those six which you say today, they'll be fulfilled in Jesus' name. And then it says they will come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, in verse 24, therefore, 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 because of that, because you're sure that you will have whatsoever you say, because you're sure that you can say to this mountain, and it goes, there's no shadow of doubt, this mountain I see today, because you're sure that it will go, therefore, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. I asked you this morning. I said something this morning. Do you have your miracle? Do you have your healing? Do you have that mountain moving power here this morning? It is so already in Jesus' name. Point number three, growing power, the growing power of an increasing faith. The growing power of an increasing faith. You know, your faith is increasing already. I said your faith, your faith is increasing already. And that increasing faith will bring growing power, dynamic power into your life on a time in the name of Jesus. This is the day. This is the moment, this is the time, and every mountain will roll away. Every problem will vanish away. Every feature will vanish away. Every sickness will vanish away in Jesus' name. Every weakness and every yielding to temptation, all that will vanish away because of this incorruptible faith or inclusive faith and increasing faith that comes into your heart and it's your life. It's 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. I'm reading verse 3. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. We are bound to thank God always for you. I am thanking God for you. I said I'm thanking God for you. Because of the faith you have. And because of the faithfulness you have because of your loyalty to the Lord and because of your trust in the Lord because of your leaning upon the Lord because of your confidence in the Lord that's why I'm thanking God for you and as we thank God for you the faith you have will not fail in Jesus name we're bound to thank God always for you brethren as it is me because your faith Grows exceedingly. Your face grows exceedingly. Your face grows exceedingly. And then it says, and the charity of every one of you all towards each other abounds. And the good blessings of the Lord will abound in your life in Jesus' name. And now you say in verse 11, wherefore also we pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all his good pleasure and fulfill all his good promises and fulfill all his good grant fulfill pleasure upon your life it will be fulfilled in Jesus name wherefore we also pray he has already praised the Lord for them he has already sang the Lord for them after praising the Lord on their behalf now he's praying for them that not to let that their faith increasing faith will bring growing power but he says he's also praying that our God will count you worthy of this calling to fulfill everybody say feel say fulfill all is good pleasure. All is good pleasure. The pleasure of the Lord, the plan of the Lord, 
the program of the Lord, the provision of the Lord, the promises of the Lord, all will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. And it says, and the work of faith will power. And the work of faith will power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him. This morning, the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. In your salvation, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In your holiness, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In the power, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In your healing, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In your deliverance, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In all the mountains moving out of your life, the name of the Lord will be glorified. In answer to your prayer, and God fulfill it. All good pleasure, the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life in Jesus' name. And ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. This day you will see the glory of God. The mountains will roll away, the problems will roll away, and all the things that are in your life, disturbing your life, everything will roll away in Jesus' name. John chapter 14. John chapter 14. I'm reading 12. John chapter 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Who is this you the Lord is talking to? Who is this you the Lord is talking to? You in particular. The Lord is talking to you this morning, and what it said will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. It says, everything Jesus did when he was here on earth, everything will be fulfilled in your life. If you are blind, your blind eyes will open. If you are deaf, those deaf ears will open. If your tongue is tied and you cannot talk, the tongue that is tied will be loosed and speak in Jesus' name. And if you have a uh, whatever that cripples your life, disturbs your life, destroys your life, because if Jesus were here today in the physical, he roll everything away. And the Lord is rolling everything away right now. He's taking everything away right now because he said, He that believeth on me, the works side shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father in verse 13, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, the whosoever is asking for whatsoever. That means anything, anything whatsoever, he shall ask in my name. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he asks anything in my name, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? If he asks anything in my name, I will do it. This is the time. This is the day that anything will be fulfilled name. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Anything, anything whatsoever. Anything whatsoever is going to be accomplished. I said it's going to be accomplished. When the whosoever stands up in faith, in confidence, in trust, and then the whosoever is asking for whatsoever, the Lord is giving us the assurance. If he asks 